Hey guys, I'm Kylie. If you guys want to see how I go from that to this, stay tuned, okay? Okay, so first things first, I completely washed my hair. I washed it already with actually the shampoo. And I put a little black dye in it just to make the color more, you know, look vibrant enough. And this is the conditioner that I'm about to drench the hair in. You got to put a lot of this stuff, you know, if you really want your hair to take in that moisture. So I'm really going in with that conditioner and trying to evenly distribute it all throughout the hair. You want to really get it in there, okay? And I would prefer a wide tooth comb, but I only had this brush, so this is what I had to comb out the hair with. This is a very lazy, get your hair back on fleet routine for me. But it works, as you guys are gonna see. Or already seen. Whatever. So I'm really trying to get those knots out because trust these curlers were dead okay I had to go through that thing about 50 times once I can run my hands through the hair and it not get stuck that's when I know okay it's time to move on to the next step see very easily running down through the hair so for this next step this really works guys you put your hair in like a bag like as you see what I'm doing and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to the microwave and put it in there for one minute it looks crazy but trust me it's good hey 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 do your dance so now when I take it out, I'm just going to, you see how nice that is? Oh my god. Yeah. So the microwave allowed the heat to really, allow the conditioner to really get in there. So I left that in for about 30 minutes and then now I'm going to wash it out. And you want to make sure you wash out all the product that's in the hair because you don't want leftover product in your hair. It's going to weigh it down. So while I'm washing it out, I just want to keep the hair in place so it don't get not get, you know, get in knots again. So I comb it out while I'm doing it and I just like really make sure I get in there and just wash out all of the conditioner and then I'm actually going somewhere so I need this to be dry in like an hour so you have to really wring that thing out like really rinse it out to the best of your abilities if you're going somewhere I mean you should do that even if you're not going somewhere because it just is better that way So now, ain't nobody got time to be just waiting all day. So I just put it by the window and put the fan on it. Don't make this fan spin like that. I actually did end up just stopping the fan. And yeah, it's right now, it's mostly dry. Not completely dry yet, but it's mostly dry. So I'm going to go ahead and define those curls with some mousse.
I don't put too much mousse in it. And then I just, you know, like scrunch the hair to really get those curls in. Can you tell the difference between the sides? And you want to make sure that your part is defined, you know, just find your part and put some mousse to make it lay down flat where your part is. So I'm just scrunching that up. Yeah. And that's, I use the got to be glue for my edges. You know, that's my favorite part, getting them edges on fleek. Y'all know. I was having a hard time trying to do it with one hand. I don't know. It was just giving me it. Oh, and I put on my makeup before I did that, which I had to, y'all know, because I had to go and the hair had to dry. Just a whole bunch of chaos. But put do your edges before you put your makeup on. Please, ladies, because it's much easier. Unless you have to do your makeup before. Like, hmm. I'm telling you, the got to be glue hold those edges down for the entire day. That's why I stopped using edge control when I learned that the got to be glue can hold my edges down for the whole day like that without getting greasy. Even up for the next day, it would still be late. My edges would still be late even until the next day with this got to be glue. It's good. Yeah, so I'm just, you know. I'm not really going too crazy with laying them down because it's not even really gonna show like that. Just a little, just make them look decent, you know. Make them look decent. So I don't know. I just wanted to go in. I'm not naked, as you guys can see, and I just wanted to go in with my crimping iron to, you know, define the curls in the top a little, bit, a little bit more. It's up to you if you want to do this or not. But I felt like, you know, there were it was a little bit dead at the top and need to be more defined and like I said this is the lazy girl reviving of the curls so this takes literally I, I just did this for one minute literally you guys are gonna see and then it made such a big difference They was actually rushing me to leave. So that's why I had to go change my clothes real quick and then come back. I really had to go, y'all. And I, I was doing this for you guys. I was like, no, I got to do this. I'm not going anywhere till I do this. Look at the difference. Do you guys see that? Yeah. And I only needed to do it just at the top. That's it. And it was, you know, way better. Which, if you guys do the top and you guys still see that there's little pieces that the curls, curls need to be defined, you guys go ahead and, you know, just put a little clamp here and there. But yeah, that, that made it a whole lot better. Yeah. So that's it guys and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe and share this video and I gotta go so bye.